In this lesson today, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to graph linear inequalities in two variables, but we're going to have a system of linear inequalities. Now this follows just like when we had one inequality, except with two, what you do it when you're all done is you shade uh, where both of them overlap. So we'll start off with one at a time. So we're going to first look at x plus 2y uh, is less than or equal to 6. Again, what we do is we treat that inequality as an equal, and we're going to assign the x and y intercepts. Again, to find an x-intercept, we're going to put y equal to 0. So by putting y equal to 0, that makes this term disappear, and notice you'll get x equals 6. So I'm going to plot x equals 6 on the x-axis. Let's also find the y-intercept. We'll set x to 0, so we'll have 2y equals 6, which means y is 3. Since there's an equal to here, we'll use a solid line to graph, uh, to connect the dots. So again, this is now the line x plus 2y equals 6. So now we have to figure out what side to shade on. And again, to do that, we'll draw, we'll pick a test point. Uh, the most common test point to pick is the origin because it's so easy to use. Remember the origin has coordinates 0, 0. So we'll put in 0 in for x and 0 in for y. Is 0 plus 2 times 0 less than or equal to 6? Yes, it is. So since 0, 0 made it true and since 0, 0 is below the line, we're going to shade below this line. Great. We'll do it again for 4x minus y is greater than or equal to 8. So we'll first find the x and y intercepts. Notice the x-intercept will be at x equals 2, because you'll have 4x equals 8. The y-intercept, since we'll have negative y equals 8, we'll have y is negative 8. We'll connect these two dots using a solid line because there's an equal to. Again, it's always a good idea to label your lines. So let's label this one as 4x minus y equals 8. And now we'll shade this one as well. We can pick the origin. Again, you can pick any point as long as it's not on the line, and the origin's not on that line. So again, we'll put in 0 in for x, and 0 in for y. Notice this one is false. 0 is not greater than or equal to 8. So again, the way we shade is, since 0, 0 is to the left of the line, and it made it false, that means to the right of the line must be true. So we're going to shade to the right of the line. Colored pencils work great for this stuff. So you might ask, where's the final answer? Well, the final answer is going to be wherever these two shadings overlap. So notice they overlap in this region right here. It's always good to shade that the darkest so that it's clear of what the final answer is. So what we just found was we found all ordered pairs that satisfy both inequalities. So anything in this dark shaded region right here will be an answer uh, for your system of inequalities.